Hello, welcome back. The first thing I want to talk about is the use of low cut EQ. And if you've seen my previous video, the Logic 404 Mixing Electronica, you know that I tend to use a lot of low cuts throughout the mixing process because it makes life really easy. And I always used to use the standard uh, low cut filter plugin in Logic, this one right here. Great simple interface, just one slider, and you'll find it under EQ single band low cut. And that is exactly the problem I have with it. The fact that you need to go through all the menus to access your low cut. You know, because when you're in the middle of the creative process, you want to be quick and get to your tools as fast as possible. So one thing you can do is just leave a low cut plugin in your channel strip at all times. But then if you're planning on using the channel EQ later on anyway to maybe sculpt your sound a bit, then why not use this low cut in the channel EQ? So that's exactly what I'm doing now. Let's remove this one here. The beauty of the uh, low cut in the channel EQ is that it has uh, multiple slopes ranging from 6 dB all the way up to 48 dB, really steep. And it's so easy to just grab that one and low cut away. There's a lot of room to place the cursor in and get the job done really fast and easy. But here comes the irony. In my very, very humble opinion, the single band low cut plugin sounds a bit better. You know, more musical, if you will. So there's a choice. Do you use either the low cut single band or the one in the channel EQ? The thing is, they are not the exact same algorithm. However, you can get really close to the sound of the single band plugin if you do what I just did, lower the Q a bit in the channel EQ and put the slope on 12 dB instead of the default 24 dB. And since I low cut everything below 30 Hz anyway on every channel throughout my mix, um, this is a good starting point too. And the cool thing is now, you can save this as your default, meaning the way the channel EQ opens when you double click the icon. So let's save this as default, replace the one that is already there. Let's get these out of the way. And next time you need a low cut, you just double click the EQ icon and go low cut straight away. So that's really um, a time saver. So the default low cut in the channel EQ. Try it, it's nice.